Right, welcome back. Let's go to page 54 now and talk about the five principles for success. And these five principles are really useful to help you achieving your goal or your outcome. In fact, I think they're really useful for everything that we do in our life. Have you ever been to a meeting and not known what the purpose was of the meeting? Or ever heard somebody say, I want to make more money? Or I want to be happier. Well, what do those things actually mean? You know, you really need to know your outcome. Specifically, what is it that, that I want? Because I want to be more happy or I want more money is very flaky. It, does, it doesn't mean anything specifically. Words like most, more, least, best, worst... Those things are comparative deletions. Now, the unconscious mind, like I said, you know, likes to follow the path of least resistance. And so somebody says, I want to make more money, and they find a tenor, and the unconscious mind thinks, okay, well, that's it, the job is done. Well, that's not what the person meant when they said they wanted more money. So be very specific and know what it is that you want to achieve. You don't go to the airport and say, I'm going to go on holiday, let me just get on the aeroplane and hopefully it's going to fly me to the right place. No, you buy the ticket beforehand, you have a this destination in mind and you buy the right ticket to get on the right plane to go to the destination of your choosing. So you have an outcome. And I think it's really important, everything that we do, we need to know the outcome. Just like when we're coaching, if we don't know what the outcome is, then actually we're not really coaching. All we're doing is having a chat. And that doesn't benefit the client. The client wants to see a return on their investment, whether that's financial or not. They want to see that they actually achieve their goal at the end. The next thing then to do is to actually take action. You know, it's wonderful. You have this goal. I want to be a millionaire. But if I sit on the couch every day and just watch daytime TV, whatever that might be, and I hope that I'm going to become a millionaire, well, that's probably not going to work. So we need to take action. In fact, I'd say take massive action. You know, how many people do you know that have said, I'd like to do this or I'd like to do that, but then they never do it? You know, lip service is one thing. The proof is in the pudding. Massive action. And even if it doesn't work, that's cool too. Because if we look at it, we'll look at the presuppositions of NLP. There's no failure, only feedback. So if I'm doing something, I'm taking massive action. Even if it doesn't work, I can take the feedback and then I can adapt what I'm doing so that I can move towards what I want. So I should have sensory acuity, paying attention to the results that you're getting. Is this thing working? Is it not working? So what is the feedback? If you're getting the results that you want, awesome. If you're not getting the results that you want, I've got to ask myself, okay, so where am I now? You know, wh what do I have? What do I want? And how, what do I need to change so that I can get there? In fact, Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. So notice if what you're doing is working or not, and then have behavioral flexibility. Who do you think has got the most behavioral flexibility? Who do you think as a population group has the best and the most flexibility of how they do what they do? The answer, of course, is children. You know, they've got an infinite amount of flexibility. They'll go to the, let's say you go to the shop and they'll say, Mommy, can I have a sweet? Mommy says, No. They go, Daddy, can I have a sweet? No. Oh, Daddy, please. Mommy... Can you ask daddy if I can have a sweet? And they will play and they will ask and, you know, they'll cry and they'll throw tantrums and they'll do all sorts. So we should have behavioral flexibility. I think we lose a lot of our behavioral flexibility as children because we get so used to being told no. And it's almost like people accept no then as the answer. So we want to look at how else... What do I need to change? How else can I do what I need to do? In fact, in NLP, we talk about the law of requisite variety. 
The person or the system with the most flexibility of behavior will control that system. And of course, all the while while I'm doing this, I need to operate from a physiology and psychology of excellence. So make sure those internal representations, that uh, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory, gustatory, and AD, those internal representations that we looked at when we looked at the NLP communication model, those, that, those internal representations in your head are about what you want, not what you don't want. So get rid of all your limiting beliefs, get rid of doubts, carry yourself in a positive way. You know, we're not Eeyore, we're not going to say, I'm fine. No, remember that the mind and the body is one system. Your breathing, your posture, your physical state, all of those things affect your thoughts, it affects your feelings. We actually have a feedback loop. So we always want to go for gold. We want to strive for excellence. I want to get rid of all negative emotions and limiting decisions, all doubts, carry myself in the right way, stand up straight, shoulders back, have a posture, have a psychology and a physiology of excellence. And so these five principles of success, I think are useful for everything that we do certainly important in, in achieving goals. As Alice in Wonderland came up to the Cheshire Cat and said, what road do I take? He asked, well, where are you going? And she said, I don't know. Well, then it doesn't really matter which road you're going to take, does it? So any road is going to get you there. And that's why I think it's so important to know your outcome. Because if you don't know your outcome, how would you know if you've achieved your goal? So those are the five principles of success, really useful in all aspects of life.